ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. It's not uh, case closed, just case suspended. Today, police in Charlottesville announced that they are hoping that someone out there comes forward with more information about an alleged gang rape at a campus fraternity. Of course, this case first came forward after that article in Rolling Stone magazine, an article that the magazine later rescinded. Suzanne Kenny is, Kennedy is in Charlottesville with the results of the police investigation. Suzanne. Well, Allison and Leon, this case has hung over the university since late November. Today, the results of this investigation provide some clarity. We have no evidence that supports those, those assertions. Those assertions were made in this November Rolling Stone article entitled A Rape on Campus. It told of an alleged gang rape of a woman called Jackie at the Phi Kappa Psi House in September of 2012. During the Charlottesville Police Department's four-month investigation, 70 people were interviewed, including nine of the 12 fraternity members who lived at the house at the time of the alleged incident, and two of the alleged victim's best friends. Today, the chief announced that at this point, there is no evidence to support what was written in the article. We're not able to conclude any to any substantive degree that an incident that is consistent with the facts contained in that article occurred. The alleged victim refused to cooperate with the police investigation, saying she would not make a statement or file charges. On campus today, students are hoping this announcement will let the university put this chapter behind it. I hope it doesn't have a negative impact on our community's efforts to um, make our community safer for women. When such harsh allegations are being put out, uh, one has to be especially careful to make sure all the facts have been checked. Late this afternoon, this statement from the university saying in part, the investigation confirms what federal privacy law prohibited the university from sharing last fall, that the university provided support and care to a student in need, including assistance in reporting potential criminal conduct to law enforcement. As for Rolling Stone, it has called for an independent investigation. Those results are due back next month and will be published in the magazine. As for the fraternity, we went by there earlier this afternoon. No comment on the results of this investigation. Reporting live in Charlottesville, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.